All right, quick video of the my 2004 Pontiac Grand Prix GT that is for sale. This hopefully short clip will highlight some of the exterior features. I know it's not totally on the outside, but I like starting with the, my favorite part. If you're not familiar with that sound, that belongs to can't really see it. Viper remote start. This isn't the cheapy either. This is the nice get in a little light, sorry. I'm gonna cooperate, but this is the nice two-way LCD version. Wasn't cheap. But along with uh, remote starting it's for the lock, lock unlock, and also trunk pop or trunk release. Um, it says 2004. I've had had it since 2005. With bought it with uh, I remember maybe 20 some thousand miles on it. Currently is just shy of 170. So we've had it for a long time. Uh, definitely gonna be sad to see it go, but hopefully uh, it'll make you happy. Starting in the front. Um, guess I should pick a sunnier spot. Hopefully you'll get the point, we'll see. Starting in the front, the lower lip is from a special special edition. Um, you'll see, I tried to take probably the best pieces from all the different trim levels that came on the Grand Prix. If you don't, or do, if, if you're not familiar, there's uh, GT, GTP, GX, or GXP, uh, Comp G is another subgroup. Um, the special edition, which I just said only have the front, they made a front and back bumper pieces. Um, I'll highlight it's called the SPO a trim packet or trim. Um, there's a lot, a lot of little things, and I think hopefully I took the best pieces of everything and put put it together on this car and make it really look good. And let's see, we'll place it start in front. Uh, the bottom is from a special edition. If you know other accessories, there's uh, if you've seen other Grand Prix, there's also Inferno, that's a aftermarket, which is kind of similar, I think, to the special edition, but I definitely like the special edition piece a lot better. The front grills are from the SPO or SPO, I'll just call it trim package along with we'll go to when we get to the back it's also the spoiler and the uh, exhaust tips are also from that package you cannot buy that hero head anymore in case you're wondering not that it makes it any more valuable but i think that was pretty cool you cannot buy that anymore as far as i'm aware of yeah but it's the chrome outline with metallic black and the gt in there um, headlights um, unfortunately, this car, like other GM pieces, are notorious for the tops getting yellowed and really looking cruddy. I think these are about less than a year old, so every maybe three to four years I replaced them because I like, they, like I said, they just get crappy looking after a while and they're really not that expensive to change, so why not? Um, not on currently, but... Fogs, head, uh, excuse me, high beams, low beams, and fogs all have HIDs in them, right around the 5000K color. I also did the modification where the lows stay on with the high beams, but the fogs do shut off. But when the high beams are on, it keeps the lows on, and there is a ton of light coming out. So if you drive back roads early morning, late at night, like I do, and need to see where you're going, you don't have a problem. I wanted to get this video done before I switch over. This, the stock rims have winter tires. Um, they actually have, the fronts have brand new Blizzax on them. So hopefully you can count that into the price that you may offer me. <clears throat> These, I have two sets of aftermarket rims. These are the 17 inch Elysio F1s. They are very similar to the, I think it was GXPs. That came stock, only GXPs were 18 inch, and 
up in these corners where kind of like little rivet or bolt holes or something like that so that's how you tell the difference where those are aftermarket with um, stock center caps the ones that came on these I was not thrilled with I like the look of the black stock ones put back in there with chrome lug nuts I think most of these were brand new last spring and if you count that in to the cost of this car those are usually a dollar something a piece times five times four so 20 lug nuts that's little things add up um, the auto vent or auto vent shades on the front and backs every all those are in good shape and as you can see side and rear tent Um, also, what I wanted to say, this, I'm sorry, the second set of rims I have are Koenig Unknowns, 18 inch. Somehow I hopefully can insert a picture of that in this video so you can see what they look like. But if, uh, if that's not possible, search Koenig, K-O-N-I-G, Koenig Unknowns, and you'll see an image. Um, I personally like them better those are 18 inch uh, 245 45 18s which keeps the speedometer the same as stock when you put them on there which is really nice these 17s throw the speedometer off uh, a couple miles an hour but either way i do like both of them but moving to the back the spoiler is from the spo package um just it's not ungodly bigger or anything it's just a it's a tad it was a tad wider tad just a tad bigger just just enough to I think looking a little nicer along with the tips are from that SPO package and then also the rear bumper cover the stock stock ones come across here and then that's actually a two-piece uh, this is off the GXP so I tried to complement both the front and the back. The GXP bumper is one piece, solid color, versus the bottom part being black, and I just <laughs> didn't care for that. So I finally found a silver one, and it mates up perfectly, and then I think it complements the, uh, it sits just a tad lower, and then I think it complements the front chin lip off the special edition. Um, and then also, LED tail lights. Um, the only one problem which I've never been able to fix is the right side hyper flashes. No matter if you've ever done aftermarket tail lights, not just LED bulbs, but the whole shebang comes with a little square box. And no matter what resistor or a new box I put in there, they still hyper flash. So that part kind of sucks, but. They'll look really sweet at night. Also, the license plate lights are converted LED and the backup lights are Silver Stars. So a little more, little extra money invested in now, those two. Get them zoom out just a little bit. I'm trying to think of what else to exactly say about this car except even being coming up on how many years old it still turns heads which was always the goal to turn heads and make people think man that's a look nice looking car versus you know some people some guys do some godly things to their car <laughs> like yeah it's pretty ugly but that is definitely the one plus of this car you will continue to turn heads because this thing looks really nice in motion At one time I did have LEDs in the bottom for running and turn, but they just seem to burn out fast being that they need to be constant on. Being, they're used as the daytime running lights so that doesn't really look work too hot. And then also in the side at one time I had LEDs but just just to match a little better being I went back to a bulb on that one, bulbs on, bulb on this side too, it's just plain color looks nicer and that's brighter than any LED that you could throw in there. There's not a whole lot of space to put in anything else in there. So, 
I didn't mean for this video to turn into 10 minutes, but I guess if you're seriously interested in this car, I'll give you a, hopefully a good walk around so you know what's, what you're looking at. Sometimes pictures don't do it justice and you can type all the things you want, but hopefully you think it looks good. It's actually not the cleanest at the moment, but it still looks sharp, so. There'll be another link for an interior walk around, per se, of this car.